good morning students welcome to the class of mathematics so today we will see how the numericals of banking of roads uh, or the questions related to banking will be solved okay there is a circular track okay this is a circular track and this is a banking banking means an inclination which is of 30 degree okay so here you can see this is called banking of road okay this theta is the banking that means the road is tilted at theta angle this is just made to prevent overturning of cars at high speed overturning of any vehicle at a high speed okay so let us draw the free body diagram of this car which is traveling on inclined road at theta angle okay this is the normal force which will be acting okay be normal and uh, when this will be theta will draw a line parallel to this okay. then this angle will also be theta so let us draw like uh, yeah so this angle will also be theta okay the alternate angles when this will be theta and we will draw a line perpendicular to this horizontal surface this is the horizontal surface horizontal surface right gentle surface and what is this this is road and this is banking banking means inclination inclination right so students when this angle will be theta this will be theta when this will be theta then this will be 90 minus theta this will be also be equal to same value theta, right and this is the normal n n is the normal normal means normal normal force is a force acting opposite to the surface of car here this is car and this is opposite to the surface this is this is always perpendicular okay normal means always perpendicular right if this will be n and you know uh, you remember students what is the uh, if the if you are drawing the free body diagram okay what is the weight of this car this will be acting in the downward direction here okay this will be acting in the di downward direction and uh, the uh, th uh, what will be the value of that what will be the value of that that is equal to mg yes this is equal to mg this is weight of car and if this is theta this is mg and then n cos theta if if you will draw a right angle triangle here then what we will see this is the component above is n cos theta okay and the component towards the dotted red line that is here okay this will be equal to will be equal to yes n sin theta okay so here as per the question we have almost we have drawn the free body diagram okay but the force which is binding this car to not go away from the track this is the circular force okay this centripetal force which is uh, uh, which is acting over here is circular force is m g square by r so what he will see as per the fbd fbd is free body diagram what is as per fbd as per the fbd the forces acting horizontally horizontal forces are horizontal forces in the left equal to horizontal forces in right okay what is the horizontal force in right tell me students 
yeah this is m v square by r this one okay so we'll put the value over here only okay this will be m v square by r okay this is the force through which this banking this banking of road prevents the car to go beyond that circular orbit okay and this is the circular orbit okay the circular orbit this banking is towards across all the the part of the circular track okay we have just considered a section of this so horizontal forces is a b square by r and the force acting in the left is n sin theta okay n sin theta right now similarly vertical vertical forces for vertical forces what we will see n cos theta this is the vertical force n cos theta in the upward direction and mz in the downward direction so n cos theta will be equal to mg okay let us say the first horizontal where the horizontal forces equilibrium uh, equation is marked it as 1 and second one is 2 okay now what we'll do we'll just divide it so dividing equation 1 by equation 2 what we'll get equation 1 is n sin theta equal to mv square by r right and equation 2 is this one right so what we will do students will divide it okay so when we will divide the numerator will be divided by numerator so n sin theta will be divided by lhs of the second equation which will be n cos theta and in the rhs the numerator of the first equation is m p square by r okay and divided by uh, rhs of the second equation this is mg so we'll cut we'll cut the we'll cut the terms n n n in the numerator here m will be strike out so what we'll get what we will get we will get tan theta okay here we will get tan theta equal to v a square by r g and v a square by r g so um, here the v is known the v is equal to the v is equal to 180 kilometer per hour this is velocity and uh, this is radius is 600 meters so all part is given okay first we'll convert 180 kilometer into meter per hour right meter per second so we will do we put the values only over here 180 kilometer per hour okay put a square of that and in the denominator r r is 600 meter into z z let's say 10 meter per second square here e equal to 180 kilometer per hour r equal to 600 meter and g equal to 10 meter per second square right so if you convert this velocity into meter per hour this will be 180 into 1000 and hour will be 3600 how 60 minute into 60 second so this will be coming as whatever the value and the banking and the theta value the theta will be the that is the banking of that road so that can be calculated by the tan inverse of this value so this value will be 180 into 1000 by 3600 whole square this will be divided by 6000 the value of theta that is banking 
will be equal to tan inverse of this value. The tan inverse of this value. This will give the banking. So students, this the road is designed at at an inclination of this angle, whatever the value. Okay, you can see the trigonometric table to calculate the values. We will find out this value of theta. Okay, so this theta will help you. This the designing of road is done in this way so that when the car or any vehicle travels on this inclined road with a banking, it this will not overturn. So thank you, students. Thank you for watching my channel.